How's it going people of YouTube? My name is Brennan Gray and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improvise your own songs with little to no uh, experience in playing the guitar in just like five minutes. And yeah, it's true. You can, uh, this is going to be a very simple tutorial, but first things first, you have to get yourself a guitar. If you don't have one, why are you watching this video? But you know. Second of all, uh, make sure that your guitar is tuned. If it's not tuned, it'll sound messed up. And that's not what you want when it comes to playing guitar or any other instrument is uh, not tuned properly. So get a guitar, tune a guitar, and then you can move on to this next part. This next part, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do what is known as a power chord. All right, and you'll know it's like, Sounds pretty powerful, right? That's why they call it a power chord, in case you guys haven't pieced that together already. Power chord. Powerful stuff. And this is actually legit used in some real songs that feature the guitar as a musical instrument. And um, it is very easy. You guys are going to be learning how to do it yourselves over the course of five or so minutes, something like that. But you don't believe me when I say that it's used in real songs. Oh, still not convinced? Oh, now you guys are convinced. You're going to be wanting how to do something like that. Very easy. So first what we're going to be doing is just learning that it's these three strings here. The top three. Or you can use these ones here. Uh, just to work on having some diversity in your guitar movement. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys play that top note there. Pretty easy stuff. Take your pointer finger and find, for, for example, the third fret here, the one with the first dot. Play that. Alright, sounds pretty cool, right? Now take your, let's say, your ring finger and set it on the next string down on the 5th fret. So now you got... Alright, now take, let's say, what I like to do is I like to use my ring finger and just bend it down like that. You guys, if you're not that flexible, can use your pinky finger, but it's the string below that, again, on the 5th fret. Alright, so we got... Oh, wait, that sounds very similar to this. That's because there's an octave difference. These two will harmonize and make a really, really beautiful sound. You play those three, you got that. Alright. Now that is actually all there is to it. To the power chord. Alright. And then you can also slide it around. And uh, work on... That, because, like I said, that is all there is to it. And just slide it around, and you have just improvised your own song. Now, again, with these next three, you can just do the same thing. You can just have it like this, move it one string down, the whole thing. And it's got a really, really cool sound to it. And this is basically all there is to improvising your own song using this method, the power chord method. And if you guys want, you can add your pinky to the equation here, and you can do a really cool blues sounding thing. Practice this so you become guitar fluent. So you can just have this flow. Fluent. Flu. Like water. Um, so it'll just come naturally to you and you won't have to really think about what you're doing to, uh, to get this to sound pretty. Man, that... I'll never say that again, don't worry. So that's all that you have to do. And um, make sure again that you guys practice. And over the years, this will become really natural to you guys. You can add your own fills in between 
stuff. You can add your own licks to it. You can just make it, make the song your own. Maybe you can do a solo. I might post a video on how to do some basic guitar soloing for beginners because you guys are likely beginners. If you're more of an uh, intermediate or more of an expert, hey, there's no shame in learning how to do this very simple thing. I really hope that you guys all find this video helpful. If you do, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, I do lots and lots of stuff. But please give me feedback to any of any of my viewers out there what you guys would like to see next because I don't get all that much feedback from you guys and I'm not going to complain or anything. It's just hard to know what you guys are into, what you guys want to see. So if you guys give me good feedback and make sure that you guys comment on my videos if necessary so I can be a good supplier of videos. Anyway, I think that's about it for this. I hope you guys all have a phenomenal day, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.